Well, hello, community. How are you? This is Renee Michelle Floyd. Oh, my goodness. I am so excited for today's show, right? Because we're going to talk about generational business, right? We're going to talk about, you know, all things hair business, but for the next generation. And I am going to have some special guests on here. And I am so excited to bring them on. So it's going to be a surprise to you, right? But you ought to get a clue just from me saying generational hair business, right? <laughs> so, so anyway, I am Renee Michelle Floyd for you who do not know me. Um, I am the CEO, owner, and the creator of Beautiful Hair Products. <laughs> and um, we are actually getting ready to celebrate our, uh, I think it's our 15th year, right? I need to go back in my records and just really make sure that it's 15, it's either 14 or 15 years because my son will be 17. I think it's 15 years that we have been doing uh, beautiful hair products and uh, I am so excited. I really want to celebrate. And so I really need to get into my headspace and make sure that I really recognize the fact that we've been around for a while and we're just getting started. Right. And so but before I started my hair business, um, I was a certified sister locks consultant. Right. And before I did that, I used to braid my sister's hair. I used to braid my doll's hair. And then I had children, right? I have three girls and I did their hair and my son's hair, right? And so um, so anyway, I uh, just, I've been in hair business for a long time. And um, so I want to now, I want to talk about generational hair business because huh, I have some exciting news. So, but let me first, um, let me first continue on introducing myself. So I started my hair business. Um, well, I started doing hair a long time ago. It wasn't even a business. It was just, you know, doing my family's hair, doing my hair. In fact, the first set of locks that I had was traditional locks. And I really started those from braids, Right. And so I braided my hair up in individual braids, and then I just did not rebraid it. I just started palming my hair, and I fell in love with that hairstyle. In fact, I had a vision that that was my hairstyle, right? Because, see, I've always had problem hair or sensitive hair or uh, vulnerable hair, hair that was prone to breakage. It was always fine, not meaning you know, straight, fine, but just really vulnerable hair, right? Um, and so um, my hair is 4C hair and it was always dry and um, easy to break. So that's what I call vulnerable hair, right? And so anyway, I, um, I had a vision, you know, because I was wearing braids a lot and uh, I had a vision that the, that in fact, God gave me the vision that dreadlocks at the time I was wearing well, there's nothing dread, dreadful about them, but I was wearing locks, right? And um, I absolutely love those locks. But one day, I laid eyes on a lady that had what I now know are sister locks. Of course, I didn't know what they were back then. And um, and I tell you, I it was love at first sight, right? Because they were fine, they were small, they were much stylable much more stylable. And, uh, and I just fell in love with them. And at this time I had been doing hair and I had to go and learn how to do this hairstyle. At the time, my children were all small, right? And so, uh, we, and we all had dreadlocks in our hair. I put everybody's hair in locks and, uh, and we were rocking with that style. And so as, as I went through the class and I enjoyed the class, it didn't take me long at all to catch on um, because, you know, I've always had the skill of doing hair. Um, and so when I, um, when I took the class, I just excelled. 
And I just folded that business into what I was already doing. And it didn't take me long at all to get my certification for Sister Locks. And um, for the last 15 years of me doing Sister Locks, I, uh, of doing natural hair, I pretty much was focusing on Sister Locks. And then I gave my braided clients and my dreadlock clients to my daughters because they were coming up in the business, right? Especially my one daughter. My other daughters, they weren't really doing uh, hair at the time, but my oldest daughter was, right? And so in fact, she is the one that was, um, I guess my protege, right? She was right there. She always loved doing hair. And so I trained her and I taught her how to do hair. So she had her set of clients and I had my set of clients. And sometimes we would, you know, share uh, the this little studio. I made my garage, right? I had my dad to come over. Oh my God, I'm going way back. <laughs> I had my dad to come over and, and build a wall uh, out of half of my garage. So you know, the side that the door, when you open the side door of your garage, that side was the entrance for my clients to come in and they entered right into my studio. Right. And so sometime, you know, she had her clients, she did some of her friend's hair uh, when she was in high school and, um, and then she would help, help me as well. She worked, worked right by my side. And, uh, and so, you know, I'm just, I am just grateful that I learned entrepreneurship from my mother, right? <laughs> my mother, she wasn't into hair, but she used to sew. She used to make those butterfly blouses. And I, those who are in my age group probably know what those are, right? And so she made butterfly blouses and we together used to go early in the morning, <laughs> to the, what they call the swap meet, or now they call it the flea market at the drive-in theaters. You remember those theaters that you would go to um, that had a big old outdoor screen. And back in the day, you know, they had the speakers that you would hook onto, on hook onto your window. You would roll the window down, hook that speaker on there, turn the speaker up, and everybody would sit in their car <laughs> and look at the movie with the speaker in the window, right? And so when it when everybody start breathing hard and everything, you know, then you have to roll the window down and get some air and to clear the fog. I mean, though I'm telling you, we have come a long way. So you're talking about generations, right? <laughs> Those were the good old days. <laughs> and so we have evolved, I tell you, this this society has evolved a whole lot. And so this is so appropriate today to talk about generational hair business, right? And so that's what I want to talk about. And then later on, I'm going to share with you some of the products that I um, that I created, right? And then now that I market and, um, and so, but anyway, I, I'm so excited. So the three things that we're going to talk about is what is generational business, right? We're going to talk about the culture of business in black families. And we're going to talk about the next generation in business, right? And so, but before we do that, I want to make sure all my YouTube family if you like these videos and these tutorials and you want to see more, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, right? And also that little bell on the side, click that bell because each time I go live, you will get a notification when it goes live and when I'm posting and doing other things on YouTube, right? And so, but first, before we get started. And before I bring my guest on, I want to just let you know who Beautiful Hair Products is. And so I want you to watch this real, real quick video of who Beautiful Hair Products is and what the product, who the products are for. Okay. So watch this quick video. Got sister locks, but are frustrated and confused. Too many voices and opinions. Do not use product in your hair. 
Use this product. Use that product. Oh, it's too much. What is best for you? You are unique and so is your hair. You love wearing your sister locks, but don't want to be an outcast. Beautiful Hair Products was and is created with you in mind. Hi, my name is Renee Michelle Fleming, a retired certified sister locks consultant. I created Beautiful Hair Products because I needed something better. My hair felt like tumbleweeds and my scalp was so itchy, it felt like I had a disease. I understand your dilemma and Beautiful Hair Products is here to help. With just one use of Beautiful Hair Products, your sister locks will transform into the hydrated, soft, and moisturized set of locks you've always imagined. Beautiful Hair Products is a premium hair care line with a system designed specifically to create soft, hydrated, moisturized, and manageable sister locks. We use only the best and simplest natural and organic ingredients, which makes our products coveted among those who actually invest in their hair care. Beautiful Hair Products is your solution. Visit us today. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. I love it. So Beautiful Hair Products are actually for those who invest in their hair care, right? Now, today I have my hair covered up today, not really covered up, but I'm wearing my little cap here that my granddaughter, Kyra Renee, made for me. And I requested her to put this little ruffle on here. And I think it's the cutest little hat, right? Um, she did an excellent job and it doesn't take her long at all to make these little hats. And so I just wanted to, to rock this little hat and let y'all know I have a talented granddaughter, right? And she took up crochet after me, her grandmother, right? <laughs> but now she just, I mean, she is fast with it. So I just wanted to just share this little hat with you all just to let you know that my granddaughter, Kyra Renee, made this hat. And so now I am going to bring on my special guest, I'm doing that. we are going to now <laughs> bring you all on here. So right, and so here we have Kyra and Kyra, Renee, and and uh, and and, and Kyra, Renee, and and Kenny, uh, right? Mississippi. <laughs> Wow, I'm sorry for technical all difficulties. Yeah. One second. Technical difficulties. Hold on, you guys. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to we're going to bring them on. Here they are now. And um, okay, turn the camera on. It's okay. It's okay. Turn the camera on, you guys. It's okay. 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 These are my special guests. My daughter, Kane, so she goes by Sephora Kane, and then her daughter, my granddaughter, Kyra Renee, right? And so these are my special guests, and I am so excited. Oh, Lord, let me bring y'all back up here. Oh, I want you guys to be, oh, y'all, sorry, it's technical. <laughs> I want them to be uh, in the main screen. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. So anyway, um, yeah, there we go. That's how I want it. Right. So these are my special guests, Kyra Renee and Sephra Kane. Um, and I want to just talk to you all about 
you know, what you're doing now, can they, they know who you are, right? But I want you to reintroduce yourself and your daughter, my granddaughter, Kyra Renee. But first I wanted to just say, when I started Beautiful Hair Products, which first was Naturally Yours Boutique, right? That was the first name of, it, of the company. And then I changed it over, but the products have always been called Beautiful Hair Products. But then I changed it over to Beautiful Hair Products, LLC. But the point is, is when I first started Beautiful Hair Products, the company, it was for survival, right? I did it so that I can take care of my family and it served me well. It served my clients well. And Kane was always the one right there on my right side, looking and observing on how I did business and how I did hair. And she always loved doing hair. And so it's no surprise to me that she is now in hair professionally and have really far exceeded me, right? And so Kane, I want you to reintroduce yourself <laughs> and then tell us exactly what you do and uh, then introduce the young lady next to you, my precious granddaughter, and tell everyone what she does, right? <laughs> you have to sneeze. Can <laughs> tell her what she does. Tell us what she does and how you're training her because this is called the next generation hair business. So, Kane, Sephora, Introduce yourself again and let us know what you do and then, you know, introduce your daughter. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, <laughs> so I am the owner and operator of Goddess Everything Studios in California in the Valley area. Um, I specialize in extensions as a whole, in color and in sister locks and sister locks with extensions. The extensions I use are sherry locks. So that's the method that I've been trained in for extensions. Um, I currently have sister locks, standard sister locks, and then I have sherry lock extensions as well. Um, I did the custom color on my hair. So everything that I specialize in, I typically represent. Um, yeah, that's my... And you just got what? You got your news of what? So yesterday, um, I got the email from the home office of Sister Locks that I've been officially um, granted approval as a certified Sister Locks consultant. Yay! Yay! Now, y'all, this is really special because when Kane was, I think, were you Kyra's age or just a little younger when I took you to the Sister Locks homecoming, right? And at I that time, 14. you were how? 14. 14. So she was just a year younger than Kyra at the time. And I had my Sister Locks and I had put my youngest daughter's Sister Locks in and I think Siku's Sister Locks in, but Kane was not ready for Sister Locks. Wasn't that, is that true? Yes. yes. I just, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and she wore, she liked braids at the time. And so I was trying to encourage her to get the sister locks and all that. But it wasn't until we went to the homecoming, the sister locks homecoming, and she saw all those young ladies with their own hair and it was sister locked, right? And so that's when she said, mommy, I think I'm ready for sister lock. But anyway, that's my version. You tell your version and then tell us, you know, what, how you circle back around into Sister Mox. Okay. So as you mentioned, um, you fell in love with locks and then you promptly locked all of our <laughs> hair up. Um, because of the areas that we lived in, there were like no black people. So going to school with all white and Mexican kids, um, I was very much made fun of and isolated from being able to interact with the other kids simply because I have locks. Um, so, you know, I begun to hate my hair and wish my hair was straight and wish I was white and all these things, thinking that that was the key to like 
having, you know, being acceptable, being accepted. And um, that continued until I graduated from high school. So then I started middle school with the traditional locks. It was my second set by that time. And, you know, kids, again, would make fun of me. This time it was the black kids that would make fun of me because I was in a blacker area at that time. They would call me Medusa. They would start fights with me, just all kind of unnecessary stuff. And so my locks became a source of, you know, disappointment, shame for me. People would say my hair's didn't smell good. My hair stinks. Just different things that, you know, damage my confidence at that age. And so um, I asked my mom if I could cut my hair. So she cut the locks out in seventh grade. And then I started wearing braids, individuals. And that's when I really loved my hair because my braids looked better than everybody else. I don't know if you guys remember crochet braids when they first came out those ramen noodle looking braids <laughs> they were micros and they were crinkly they literally looked like a pack of ramen noodles on everybody's hair <laughs> and all the girls used to get that and i thought they were so ugly i still think they're very ugly so <laughs> i always felt good about myself because i had individuals they were long they were crinkled and all that stuff so i began to wear braids throughout middle school. So at this point, I'm feeling good about myself. You know, I'm like, I, locks is a no for me. You know, I'm never wearing locks again. Then my mom came to us one day and said, I, I found out about this new technique. It's so pretty. It's locks. And I was like, I don't want to hear anything about locks. So she promptly took the class and locked up my sister, my both of my sisters and my brother's hair. And I think one other person. Yeah, I had a client. Okay, she had a client and then my sister and brother, I believe. Or maybe not Kwame yet, but it was three people. One of them was one of my sisters and one was a client and there was one more person. And she got certified that quick. And so she was working doing installs, doing establishments. And you know, when you first get sister locks, the way they look, it's not necessarily like it makes you want to run out and get them. <laughs> so I still wasn't feeling it. Then they had the annual sister locks conference in San Diego. And she said, I want to take you with me so we can go. So when we went to the sister locks conference and I saw locks in different sizes, colors, lengths. I've always had an affinity for color. So when I saw blonde locks and red locks and, you know, I saw all the people's locks and they were mature locks or they were, you know, uh, semi-mature, they were brand new. I saw a range and then I met Dr. Cornwell and her hair was like literally at the middle of her thigh. That's when I was like, okay. And I had been wearing micro braids anyway. So it looked very similar to micro braids and it looked very feminine to me. It looked beautiful. It didn't look like, you know, lumpy traditional locks. Not that my locks ever looked like that, but again, just the things that I had been told about my hair and how it kept me isolated from other people. I didn't want to go through that bullying again or whatever. So anyway, I was convinced after the conference and I said, okay, you can go ahead and lock my hair. <laughs> so she locked my hair. It looked crazy because it was, <laughs> it had to go through the processes. Right. <laughs> but I didn't even really realize I just wore it, you know? Um, I probably started with like six or seven inches, maybe or at the top. And then the rest was shorter. My hair grows out mullet like for some reason. So it was definitely the awkward stage, but I didn't know back then. I'm just like, oh, well, you know, and by that time, the whole family had sister locks, <laughs> even my grandma, I think. <laughs> yes, I think she had done her locks. So literally, she, all just, of us, she just had dreadlocks. Oh, OK. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. So literally all of us had locks at one point, wow. at that point. And so she even locked my baby sister, who was like four at the time. <laughs> so at that point, I was like, okay, it is what it is. We were known as the family with locks. So my hair started growing, flourishing. I kept them. That was from ninth grade all the way until I was age 24, which was my third or fourth year in college, fourth year in college. Um, and then I had moved away to go to college and I just didn't want anyone else to retie my hair. I didn't want to drive back and forth to get it retied. And I just wanted a change. So I put some yarn braids in my hair when it was time to take them out, I had new growth. I just cut the braids to cut <laughs> my locks out, took them down, and then spent a week picking out each lock on my head until my hair was an afro. Mm. Took that afro to a salon, let them put a relaxer on my hair, <laughs> did a pixie cut. <laughs> and for the next 10 years, I just wore my hair relaxed keratin treatment hair botox color uh then went natural then put more chemical brazilian knots i put all kind of stuff did all kind of styles did a couple of wigs lace frontals <laughs> all that stuff on my hair just to try out different things realized that my hair is prone to breakage with once chemical processing is introduced to it um realize that my hair thins out a lot. There's a lot of like breakage when I take out braids or when I take out a weave, I would lose like two handfuls of hair, even though my hair is thick, but it was just like, it wasn't flourishing. So I finally decided that it had been 10 years since I had last had my sister locks mm. and I was ready to get sister locks again. So Skipping over, I already explained last time, I have four sets of failed extensions <laughs> that were not done with the Sister Locks method or by anybody affiliated with Sister Locks. So, yeah, that wasn't successful. Um, and then finally broke down, had a consultant that I trained with in the Sister Locks class established me last August. So it'll be a year in August that I've had my locks. And then in April of this year, about eight months later, got my extensions added. And here we are. And then in, when do we do? In February of this year, my daughter finally was ready to start, her, <laughs> start her lock journey. And so I started her traditional locks with the two strand method. And now they're pretty much locked. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Now we're all locked again. Yes. Yes. Wow. That is awesome. That is exactly how it all happened, you guys. Um, you know, so Kane, she, uh, you know, took the sister lock class, and and now here we are, several months later. Now she just got her notification that she has been approved to be certified as a sister locks consultant. And it just goes full circle around. I tell you, I am so proud of you, Kene. She's pressed through. She's a licensed cosmetologist. That was a journey, right? And so she has all the certifications and all the trainings that it takes to uh, have that paper behind her name and to, you know, call herself a professional hairstylist a natural hair professional hairstylist. And so, but you do other stuff as well, but right now you're focusing on natural hair care. And so, <clears throat> so now how does Kyra come into the picture, right? That's the next generation. So you now, you have been doing your business now for, I don't know, how long you've been doing your business, uh, Kane? So I started with you when I was 11 assisting you and i did that from about 11 to 17 when i graduated high school and then i left for college and i just thought i would not do hair anymore ended up starting several people's locks in the south where i went to college yeah. on the dorm steps the library wherever we could 
and then came back to California, had my daughter, took like a year off, and then went back to school, started up again for college. Uh, my degree was family studies and social work. I was going to be a family therapist. That was my vision for my career. <laughs> So I went to school. I was pursuing that. I worked hard at that to transfer from the community college I was at to a four-year university um, in the valley where I currently live. Throughout that process, I would take clients here and there for braids, you know, for locks. I started several guys' locks at my high school that I graduated from, that type of thing. Um, and then moved down to the valley. Um was in school full time. And then I would still do heads here and there, you know, some of the time. And then college ended for me pretty abruptly. So that's when I was like, okay, I need to figure out what to do. So I took some more heads and then I got hired for the county as a social worker. So I'm like, this is my dream job. This is great. I don't have to do hair anymore. All I have to do is this. Worked that job for two and a half years. And then I got booked to go on a tour as a vocalist for four months. And so I quit that job, went on tour, came back home after the tour, lost my dad really quickly, and then didn't know what to do. So there was a salon I used to always get my lashes and nails done at. <laughs> and they said, hey, we need a braider. I know you braid. Can you start working here? So I started working there. Then I got a job as an assistant there to a stylist who specialized in color, uh, extensions, and chemical smoothing treatments that are not relaxers. Mm -hmm. So I learned from her. And then she told me about cosmetology apprenticeship, mm -hmm. where you are enrolling in cosmetology as a program, but instead of you going to school for eight, I mean, for a, a year to a year and a half and not being able to work, you get your license right away and you work under a stylist in salon so that you can immediately start in your career. So I began that process uh, along the way. I ended up getting picked up by a separate trainer and he was my trainer for the duration of my program. I ended up back in music full time. And then I was also a hairstylist on set where I was working as well in music. Um, and then I've been doing that. And then 2022, right after COVID was finally like, okay, now you guys can go outside again. We can congregate again. Sister Locks was having their very first class post COVID. Mm. And in December of that previous year, 2021, um, I actually, November of 2021, I had opened my own salon suite. So I was doing, you know, whatever services I knew how to do. But I realized that, like, in my journey to find a Sister Locks consultant to install my locks, it was a mess. Like I couldn't find anybody. People were hard to get in touch with. People weren't accepting clients, people. It was just a lot going on. So I finally was like, you know what? I think I need to learn how to do sister locks. <laughs> so I put together the money in December, pay for my class in full. And then my class date was January. So me and us, it was like six of us, five of us, we all took the class at Sister Locks um, in San Diego, the home office, trained within maybe a month after I finished uh, the program, I did my first establishment, which was 19 inches of hair. Wow. And oh my gosh thought, yeah, I don't, I can't do this. This is, I made a mistake because wow. it was a lot of work, but yeah. decided, you know what? I'm going to keep going. Quickly did my second and third establishments and 
just kept building and growing. Words started getting out. My work, I was showing it online and people were starting to figure out who I was. And so I proceeded in that fashion all of 2022. And I was inquiring about getting my sister lock still at this point and then getting extensions. So I set an appointment to get my sister locks done by a girl who was a classmate of mine at the sister locks class. And it got pushed back a couple times, but we finally decided on August. So she put in my locks in August. I was supposed to get extensions from this lady I had been following and watching her work and all of that in like October or something like that. But at this point, I had had four failed extensions attempts mm -hmm. and I was just burnt out. I had spent thousands and thousands of dollars on this. And I was just like, you know what? Before I put anything else in my hair or let anyone put anything else in my hair, I want to get trained in this method so I can see what really they do. Mm -hmm. So I can make sure it works. So I can make sure it's healthy for the hair, you know, so I can make sure, because I had tried all the newest techniques that were mm -hmm. out and they all came out of my hair within weeks. Mm. So she was offering a class. She really wanted to train me. So she gave me a discount. Who is um, that? Who is she? Her name is Sherry. Okay. Sherry Daniels of Locked On. She's in South Carolina. Okay. So at that point, I decided, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the money together and train. So I went into my savings, got the money, got a plane ticket, and went to Chicago, got the two-day training from her. And the day after I landed back in California, I booked my first Sister Locks with Sherry Locks Extensions client. Wow. That was in September of 2022. Mm -hmm. So that's almost been a year ago now. So I got off to a fast start with that too. You know, I started doing installs and um, she had decided to, we had gotten close and she saw my passion. She saw my hunger and drive. And she would give me tips and tricks and different things. And so we decided that she was going to come to California to teach some women here in California exactly what to do. She was offering a class. And so at that point, I had begun to integrate Kyra into the salon with me with trying out a couple of reties. Um, she's always been... Uh, an assistant braider where I will braid the person and she'll finish the braid. Um, she's done styles on herself, faux locks on herself in different styles. So that let me know that she was talented with hair. So I started to integrate her in and pay her as an employee. Mm -hmm. So when it came time for the class to take place in April, I said, Kyra, I want you to learn this technique because I need an assistant because it's hard work. It's like three to four long days of work because it's just me. I said, I want to bring you in and you start assisting me and then it'll take less time and I'll pay you. We need to start saving up for your college. We need to start saving up for a car. You want more and more spending money. So let's figure this out. <laughs> so I gave Kyra a mannequin. I showed her one time how to do a couple of different things. She picked it up immediately. And that's when I knew, okay, she's talented naturally. So I <laughs> asked if she could take the course. Sherry allowed her to train and take the course, get a kit, all that stuff. And she began assisting me in salon. So now whenever I have a Sherry Locks install, she helps me with that because um, I'm not certified yet to teach in Sister Locks. She doesn't help me with that when I have just Sister Locks establishments. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, eventually that'll be the next thing. But as I've seen her talent and skill grow and as she's able to offer more service offerings, I realize that there's something in her that should be nurtured. And so we kind of put together a plan. So what's the plan? So what's the plan, Kyra? Hi, Kyra. Hi. I don't know if everybody remember Kyra, but she's the model for our uh, super 
absorbent towel cap. Her, this is this is the model for the towel cap. And we've made several videos and her face is the face on the super absorbent towel cap that you see on beautifulhairproducts.com, right? <laughs> so Kyra, what is your plan? Do you like doing hair? What's your plan for the future with hair? Um, I'm supposed <laughs> I'm supposed to um, be getting my, or I'm supposed to be starting cosmetology school when I turn 16 um, in November of this year. Um, so I'll be doing like the apprenticeship, working under my mom since she's licensed and all of that so I can get my experience. And I don't plan on going into hair like as a career. Mm -hmm. um, It'll probably just be something that I can do on the side if I need some extra money or, you know, if someone comes to me and asks me. But, um, yeah, I've just been. That's <laughs> helping. what y'all all said. <laughs> I've just been helping my mom um, right. <laughs> for since I was 10, 11, probably 11 or 10. I think 10. Yeah, because yeah. I did Sanaya time oh yeah um but i've been helping her like well she she will um like i guess tuck the person's hair and i just finished the braids out and you know she always paid me and um i um help her because i just you know like she said i need money so <laughs> and she won't let me get a job so <laughs> this is my job for now um so yeah that's you make more money doing hair than on a job, believe me, okay? So, <laughs> yes, yes. So, well, that is so good. So, we're talking about next generation, right? We're talking about generational hair business. And so, as you can see, the, the apple don't fall far from the tree, right? So, I saw my mother as a um as an entrepreneur selling her blouses she wasn't into hair but she would sell her blouses and that is what helped us survive right then i got into hair really as survival i always like you know doing hair i had dolls and i would do their hair and then i had my little sister and i would do her hair and then i had my daughter so i would do their hair so i was always into hair and then my daughter, Kane, she loved doing hair. And so now she's in business, right? And started off early. Now her daughter. So this is generational, generational hair business. And so I am just so excited and so grateful that the vision that I had has come to fruition and is going down to the next generation, Kyra Renee. And we don't know what. My other grandchildren are going to be doing, and then uh, in in time to come, in a long time to come, what Kyra's children will end up doing. <laughs> but we have created a legacy here with beautiful hair products, and I am just so grateful that you all have joined me today. And it just, as you can see, I'm blushing, and uh, and I'm just so excited that you have taken the baton, right? And you are running with it, Kane and Kyra. And so it's no telling what can happen, you know, as a result. So thank you all so much for sharing your story. I really hope that their story inspires you, you know, to do something with your family. But I want to thank you again, ladies. And, um, and so I will be talking to you shortly. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. Well, that was so gratifying for me, right? To just see my loved ones carry on um, in the manner that they are with um, with their business, right? It's it's we're talking about something that um, that has just really been a blessing to us. And those who have been fortunate to sit in our chair, we have developed friendships and uh, and almost family over just doing hair, right? There are, 
There are people that I still associate with and clients that I gave to them, right? That I still am able to get in touch with, right? And so let me ask you all a question. Do you have a family business, right? And what type of business do you have? And, um, and is it easy working with your family or is it hard working with your family? right and so in the comments below let me know if you have a family business and what type of family business do you run right and how long you have done it and let me know if it's easy to work with your family or it's a little challenging right and so i just wanted to share those uh this story with you i want to bring my daughter and my granddaughter on they're visiting from California. As you know, I moved from California and we're here in Mississippi. And so I thought that this was a perfect time to just interview them and let you know that they are on the rise in Southern California. And so I forgot to ask her to give her information on how we can get in touch with her, but I will leave it in the comment section. And I believe on Instagram, it's Kene the Stylist. Let me see. I'm not sure if I can. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. This is on the ticker going across the bottom on Instagram. Her Instagram is at Kene the Stylist, the T-H-A Stylist. And so there it is on the screen. So look her up on Instagram right? And um, you can get in touch with her if you're in Southern California. Listen, the reason why she's here in Mississippi is because she had a client that flew her here to do their hair. So she will travel, right? And she brought her daughter to help her. So they both came out here to do hair. So she will travel. So get in touch with Kene the Stylist on Instagram. And okay, so now I want to quickly tell you about our Steaming Your Sister Locks Challenge that's coming up next week, July 10th through the 14th from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we're going, it's going to be live and we're going to have a great time. And all you need to do to register to be at that next Steaming Your Sister Locks Challenge is visit www.steamingyoursisterlockschallenge.com slash challenge. Register. It's not too late to register and uh, upgrade if you want the recordings for the entire week. If you want 30% off of our complete bundle set. And if you want an extra hour to for question and answer and just chatting with me, right? You get all the perks that that uh, comes with upgrading to VIP. So I wanted to invite you to do that. And um, and so um, the, the conclusion of the matter is that to this talk is that doing business with your family is a good idea, right? It's a good idea. And so real quick, I wanted to show you some of the products that beautiful hair products have. And uh, with the Steaming Your Sister Locks Challenge, you will need the beautiful hair products, right? So I wanted to share with you the Lavender Complete uh, Moisturizing System Bundle. This includes the steamer, as you can see, she's over here, right? And so you're gonna need a steamer and beautiful hair products exclusively for this challenge. And when you upgrade to VIP, you will get the 30% off of the complete moisturizing system bundle. So this is our lavender collection here. This is our argan oil collection. I have three collections, right? So go on our website at beautifulhairproducts.com and get your, your uh, products that you need uh, on there. And then, of course, we have our ever popular peppermint uh complete bundle as well right now if you don't need a steamer and you just want the products and a few of the accessories that come with it we have our basic bundle 
right? Well, first of all, oops, I forgot to tell you. Yes, let me go back here. We have our basic bundle, right? Our basic bundle includes all four of the products. Plus you get a super absorbent towel cap. You get a satin sleep cap and a satin uh, um, and a satin uh, pillowcase, right? And so I wanted to just share that with you that we also have that. Um, but if you only need a steamer, we have the steamer right here. And um, you get, like I said, if you upgrade to VIP, you get a 30% discount on the steamer as well. Now, if you don't need the steamer and you only need the products, right? We have the products in our luxurious set, right? Our Lux set. So we have our peppermint set. We have our argan oil set. And we have our lavender set. So all you need to do is go on beautifulhairproducts.com and uh, you will see everything. You can also uh, scan this QR code, right? And it will take you directly to the page that you need to go to. Now, if you're still on the fence, right? And you're not you're not uh, sure about beautiful hair products yet, and you just want to try beautiful hair products first and see which collection you like, we have our try it size, right? So, and we have that in all three collections. We have our argan oil collection. And with that comes the spray, the conditioner, the, the shampoo and the hair oil. And you get a free towel cap with that plus free shipping right? So our try it size is an excellent way to be introduced to beautiful hair products and to figure out which collection works best with you, with your hair, right? So we have our argan oil collection. We also have our lavender collection as well. And these are four ounce size products. And then you get a one ounce size of the hair oil, right? These are half the size of the regular products, right? And so you have a fair opportunity to use the products and see if they are, that they work well with your hair. And then of course we have our peppermint collection. So with that, I just wanted to share all this with you, let you know that it is not too late to register for our steaming your sister locks challenge. And, um, and so I just wanted to encourage you to go to steamingyoursisterlockschallenge.com slash challenge, register. Once you register and if you want to upgrade and get all the perks that comes with that, upgrade and then you will get a 30% discount on, on the, uh, the, the complete bundle, right? And you get also, you get a, a discount on the, uh, steamer as well, right? Just for upgrading to uh, VIP. So uh, with that, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to thank you so much. Visit beautifulhairproducts.com. Get everything that you need, all things Sister Locks on that site, right? And so we specialize in showing you and teaching you how to obtain soft, uh, faster growing, uh, manageable sister locks, right? No longer do you have to suffer from dry, broken, brittle, slow growing sister locks. We teach you the opposite, right? So I just wanted to say thank you so much, Kene and Kyra again for joining me on this broadcast. And, um, and I can't wait to see everybody at the Steaming Your Sister Locks Challenge. And I will see you again next time. Peace. <laughs>